In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a dependent drop down list in Google Sheets. So, this is the example I have. Um, at the end, it's going to look like this. I have these two options in this drop down list, and depending on what I choose in the first option, um, the second list, the values that you can choose from change. So, that's what I mean by dependent drop down list. I'm going to recreate this and show you how it's done in Google Sheets. So the first thing that you need to do um, is actually create your list. So I just have my list here. An important thing to know um, when you're creating this is you want your header rows to have no spaces and probably no special characters. Um, we're going to be creating named ranges with this. And so named ranges have certain characters that they do and don't allow. And one of them is no spaces. So you can see I have these two lists here. I have boy names and girl names. And then my headers I have no spaces um, just so we can create named ranges with them. So then the first thing that you need to do is highlight the range of cells that you want in your first drop down. So I'm going to highlight from A2 to A6. And then you go up to data, um, named ranges, and then um, it is asking you what you want to name this range. So I am going to name it um, what I have my header column name. So boy names, done. Um, there's already a named range. With that name, I'm going to have to delete these old ones from the example. Okay, so let me go back um, and restart this. So highlight what um, the list that you have that you want in your drop down menu. Don't highlight the header um, data. And then we're gonna go named ranges. So boy names done. And then you want to create a second named range. And this time you want to use your second list. So you're gonna use um, what you have as the second header for this name. So I'm gonna do girl names. So now I have my two named ranges. So then the next thing you want to do is um, select a cell where you want the first drop down option to appear so I'm gonna do it here and then you go up to um, data and you want to choose data validation um, so what you want to do um, criteria should be set to list from range and you want to do basically the range that your header rows are in so I am going to do um, a1 to B1 as my range here because that is what my headers are. You see A1 to B1. And then you want to make sure this checkbox is checked for show drop down list in a cell. And then I'm going to hit save. So you can see this gives me my first option where I can choose um, the different options in my first drop down. So then what you want to do is create a indirect formula that references this cell. So indirect, and then you just put this cell. And now this is how um, I end up selecting the other options in the list. So you can see here, as, uh, as I choose from this drop down, the values that appear here change so that is what we want um, so then the next thing that you need to do is select the cell where you want the second drop down to appear and then we are going to do a data validation on that and so the range for this one is going to be the range of this indirect formula so I'm going to go a8 to a12 and again, make sure this is set to list from a range. Make sure this is set to show drop down list in a cell. So then I save that. And now 
it is basically set up. So when I choose boy names, all the boy names appear in this second drop down. When I choose girl names, only the girl names appear in the second drop down. So um, the way this is set up, this is going to be dynamic. So for your range, you can always add more um, cells, like a longer range than I did. I did exactly the range of what is here. You can go down as far as you want for your range. And then as your data changes, as you get new options in here, um, your drop down will change. So it's dynamic. Uh, but that is how you set up a dependent drop down list in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.